once, especially guys as well. Yeah. Once I'm married, I will have Michelin star quality food every day. Everything fancy. Breakfast, fancy. lunch, dinner. dinner. Uh, fact, supper. Dessert. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys hey guys welcome back to our channel it has been a minute we can't lie but we are back we are back <laughs> and guess what since our last video guys we have more than doubled in number Honestly. we were thanking you for 1k subscribers and now we are literally almost at 3k at, at, at the time we're recording this so yeah. we'll see but uh we're super thankful guys yeah. for every single one of you that's supporting us worldwide yeah uh, we've got um people who are watching in america yeah. in africa yeah. uh, all over europe so super super thankful exactly so in our last video our best one year of marriage which is our first year and um, one of our lovely subscribers commented could you guys please do a video on the expectation of marriage versus the reality once you're in marriage. Very so we good thought, question. yeah, we should touch on this. We love to listen to you guys, so we're gonna do it. Absolutely. And guys, I can't lie, on social media, the way things are now, it makes every relationship seem perfect. Let's yeah. be honest, you'll <laughs> see someone on Instagram or YouTube, yeah. and you think, man, their marriage or whatever is just no issues whatsoever. Mm. They haven't got any problems. Goals. Super goals, hashtag goals, but yeah. the truth is, it's just, it's just not really the case. Exactly, and it's kind of based on appearances, isn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna share some examples of things we believe that people expect before you get into marriage, and then the actual reality. So we hope you guys enjoy it and get something from it. <laughs> and yeah, some of these are really personal to us as well, so, which I'll tell you. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it, I think. Absolutely. So the first thing that a lot of people have expectation-wise going into marriage is that once I marry this person, this person is going to change. Yeah. They're going to change by force. Yeah. All the things that we used to struggle with, mm -mm. Every, as, soon as, I, as soon as I put a ring on their finger, that's it. Not funny. <laughs> and that's just not how it works whatsoever. No. You know what? When you marry someone, you should be thinking about marrying them for how they are now, the content of their heart as it is now. And you know what? change will probably happen as they mature and as they grow and as your love grows as well mm -hmm. but don't marry someone to change them yeah. or thinking that they're going to suddenly change that yeah. doesn't always happen it's a gradual thing yeah. and if you both love each other then eventually you will grow together and change together yeah. but a lot of mistake people make is just marrying the person now just in hopes that they're going to change things yeah. like you'll just disappoint yourself yeah. because nobody can change anybody no one's mm. got the power to do that mm. so yeah don't don't do that but just expect that you'll grow together exactly. in that change absolutely so another expectation some people might have, and I know I did, so I'm going to admit it, <laughs> is just that I am just going to have it all laid perfectly. My hair's going to be amazing, my nails are always going to be fine, <laughs> my toes, mani-pedi, like eyebrows, eyelashes, everything is going to look so good. I'm going to be in my best pyjamas if I'm going to be <laughs> a little girl. Can you imagine? Like I'm just going to like be the perfect looking wife. But the reality is, that's just a really unrealistic expectation to and pressure to put on yourself. Yeah. Like, your partner will love you <laughs> with or without makeup or with or without like nail, your nails done or your hair done or like... In fact, you know what? <laughs> One thing that has really been good in our relationship since getting married yeah. is, is that same thing. And I think that, if, if you don't mind, what? I feel that Zoe may have felt that she was going to have to be that person for me. Yeah. And the truth is that when she wakes up in the morning, you know, when she's not feeling her, you know, her best and she's yeah. looking a hundred, I still treat her exactly the same. Of course. Literally. And she does exactly the same yeah. to me when I'm looking rough, when I'm just, you know, <laughs> like, oh, whatever. She looks at me like I'm her king. Yeah. Like, it's mad. <laughs> Yeah. And that's how I thought everyone should really exactly. try to, to be when it comes to that, mm. that particular subject. So ladies, don't put pressure on yourself to look 100 all the time. It's not practical, let's Absolutely. be real. <laughs> so another expectation people sometimes have going into marriage, I know for us, we didn't have this expectation because we knew the <laughs> deal. <laughs> but some people I've spoken to have told me, like, we're not going to really argue as much or at all. Hmm? Bro. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Where did like, you get that from? Where did you get that from? <laughs> people argue, what are you talking about? Like, we are two different imperfect people. We're definitely gonna argue. Yeah. And you know what? 
arguments are just natural. It's a natural thing that's gonna happen. Like, we can say that because we were together for quite a while before getting married, we had a few major arguments before getting married, but as we've married, yes, our arguments have lessened, but they haven't stopped. That's all. At why, all. why would they? Yeah. In fact, you know what? If you are in a relationship where you don't argue whatsoever, then, sorry, red firstly, flag. that's a super red flag, and I actually want to come and live with you guys, because <laughs> clearly you've got, you guys got it all figured out, but that's just, it's just not realistic yeah, at yeah. all. No, no. In fact, so. arguing in a relationship is sometimes quite healthy, because it yeah. shows you that you're communicating your feelings with the other person, yeah. and that you're talking about things. And you get to make up. Afterwards as well, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes guys, like, arguments are natural and they're gonna happen, sorry, <laughs> it's just life. But it's healthy. Yeah. So the next expectation that some people have going into marriage or before marriage is that once, especially guys as well, yeah. once I'm married, I will have Michelin star quality food every day, Everything fancy, breakfast, fancy. lunch, dinner, dinner. Uh, in fact, supper, dessert. <laughs> Like, they feel like everything's gonna be just lit every day in the food department. To be fair, I did try, guys, when I first got married, like... Listen, hey guys, but, Zoe's a good cook yeah. and stuff, and I feel like when we first got married, she felt like she really was gonna need to yeah. do keep this up every single day, but no. I feel like she's realised that that's, that, that's not what makes me happy. The yeah. fact that she's even willing, because you know, I, I already told you guys in the previous video, I'm, I'm not a cook, like I don't really <laughs> enjoy cooking at all, but, so Zoe does more, most of the cooking, but she does that and it's not to keep me. Yeah. It's, it's just because she loves me. Yeah. And I feel like for any, um, for the females that are watching this, don't feel like you need to cook the best meal every single day yeah. just to keep your partner yeah. or husband interested. That yeah. makes no sense whatsoever. It's they should healthy. love you for who you are anyway, yeah. when you're cooking the best meals or when you're cooking just average meals. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you're doing that for them as a labor of love, yeah. it should be something that they're super appreciative for yeah. anyway. Yeah, I will be cooking some new dishes though, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so another one I feel a lot of people go into marriage feeling like is that, oh my gosh, this guy is just going to complete me. He's my everything. <laughs> He's gonna fill the void in my heart. <laughs> Guys, no. Mm -mm. Like, you are too imperfect. I keep saying this, but like, we are imperfect. Two imperfect people cannot make perfection just like that. Like, honestly, when you feel like your partner is there to complete you, you kind of put them on a pedestal. So if they do do anything wrong, which is inevitable at the end of the day, you, you'll be disappointed because you, you've expected them to be this perfect being that's going to complete you. But like, you, uh, your partner can't complete you. You have to be a grounded person um, initially and your partner's there to support you, there to work together. Yeah. But yeah, they're not making you whole and complete, no. I don't think so. No. <laughs> I don't agree with that. So the examples that we just went through are slightly optimistic expectations that people have going yeah. into marriage. Um, but now we're going to give you a few that are probably more on the pessimistic side, yeah. uh, but we'll see what the reality of them really are. Exactly, so let's get into that. The first more negative expectation that some people might have about going into marriage is that once I get into marriage, the romance is just going to stop, it just dies. No more romance, no more dates, no more date night, all that stuff. Guys, they lied. They, they, they lied. lied. <laughs> but listen to them. The reality is that you can absolutely do that. Yeah. We have made sure, we've purposed in yeah. our relationship that we're going to still keep the romance yeah. alive. And that's the key thing. Like, you just have to, because yes, you will have bills, your mortgage, you have more things that you won't have necessarily when you're dating. Mm. But the, the fact is, you need to actually be intentional, like we said in our last video, and we'll probably continue to say yeah. about keeping that romance alive. Absolutely. It takes effort. That's what it is. So another expectation I feel like some people have is that, okay, sex is going to be amazing for like two, three weeks or maybe even a month <laughs> and then it just like gets boring. No. No. <laughs> it does not get boring. In fact, guys, I have to be honest with you because I know that some people are looking forward to marriage and have these thoughts. It gets better and better and better. And you know what? We've spoken to couples that are much older in their marriage and yeah. they they said the same thing and we're experiencing it yeah Massively. that's the way it goes 
if you guys have a real friendship mm. um, that you're growing together yeah. intellectually, emotionally, mm. the, the sex side of things will only naturally follow yeah, on to exactly. that. The truth is, sex only really gets worse when there's lots of pressure yeah. and there's lots of real kind of uh, unrealistic expectations yeah. uh, that would then make you start feeling that way. But yeah. no, in general, it gets better. So yeah. you guys have that to look forward to if you're not married already. Wink, wink. <laughs> And the last one is that, and this is more talking to the guys, is that once you get married, the fun stops. That's it. It's that mindset of, wow, I have to be with one person for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And that is a scary thought to a lot of guys. Yeah. I even had that, I went through that stage as well mm -hmm. before proposing that, man, it's like, I'm gonna have to say no to everyone else and be with one person for the rest so of my life. So how do you feel about it now? And right now, I feel good. Exactly. It's, it's, it's an amazing feeling, and guys, guess what? it's not that you're going to get trapped no it's actually more so that you're going to feel free free but, bear, bear. exactly <laughs> i feel more freedom now than i ever have because yeah. i don't have to think about oh but what about this person what about this person and trying to impress i only have one person to impress and as long as she's happy i'm happy so and, and vice versa exactly guys, it's, actually, it's, it's actually freedom yeah more it's than freedom. anything you know it's not about you know feeling claustrophobic in your relationship and feeling no. like oh man i don't know if i can do that yeah, you can do it you and you will can. do it yes. if you're married. <laughs> exactly. But you know, it's, it's a good feeling, guys. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed those few expectation versus reality scenarios. Hope you guys got something from it as well and feel a bit more clued in to what it's actually like to be married. Yeah. The reality of the situation. Mm. So yeah, as always, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you give us a big thumbs up and um, comment below your thoughts yeah in fact the comment section has been lit nowadays we've yeah. been seeing so many really really nice comments yeah. from you guys and i've really really enjoyed going through all yeah. of them and we will continue to go through them and Definitely. respond to them and obviously make videos about some of the best comments exactly. that we get and suggestions yeah. but um yeah guys thank you so much and as always we'll see you on the next one see, see ya, ya. Pictures. We're done. We're done. We done, baby. We done.